Okay guys, so if you have completed all six levels or if you found those levels too easy and you want a bit more challenge, then this is your next challenge. Okay, so you're gonna go into level seven, you're actually gonna need two rackets and one ball. Okay, so you're gonna need two rackets and one tennis ball. Hopefully your brother or sister have a racket, so maybe you can use their racket. Okay, so this level, which is called level seven, we're gonna be going switching, yeah, there, I did a mistake there as you can see. So you meant to twist on each side one time with that. Yeah? That's the one we do 100 times again. Once you've done 100 times, you can go to the next level, which will be level 8, which is downs. Yeah, so same thing. You use both arms, both hands. Yeah? And switching side to side. That's your level 8. And level 9 going to be spinning on both sides. This one a lot of people find that really difficult because you're switching hands but you're gonna spin the other way. Yeah? So you spin inwards on both sides. Again, do 100 of these. Once you can do 100 of these, you can go on level 10. For this one, <coughs> you're gonna need only one racket. Um, and it's actually ups, yeah. So you for, for level. This is the this is the next level actually, yeah. So that's level nine, and I know it's a difficult one. Maybe you can if you kind of get stuck on this level. Don't worry, you can go to the next level, which is level eleven. <clears throat> On level eleven, you need two balls and two rackets, and you need hundred times, hundred switches. I need to pass one uh, switch balls on your two rackets. And that's your level 11. Level 12, we're trying to switch sides of the rackets at the same time. Yeah. So we're switching sides. Again, try and do this as many times as you can. It's okay if you can't do 100. This is a really challenging one. Yeah? You gotta coordinate both hands at the same time yeah and again send in your videos the best videos will be yeah any videos will be appreciated yeah but especially if you put extra effort and practicing this is definitely going to help your um, your tennis skills um, so yeah so keep practicing and in the next video again hopefully you know you you, you get really good at these levels staying at home and if you have a garden that's even better but if you have a living room like mine here yeah, you can still practice and get really good at these levels and these levels are gonna really really help your tennis skills so you know if you think oh I can't play tennis I can't improve yes maybe you can't play tennis at home unless you have a tennis court or a big side garden you can certainly improve your skills at home so don't get kind of this you know this harder than feel like oh I, I can't improve my tennis anymore because I'm stuck inside or in the house or I can't leave and can't go to the tennis club because all these skills that I'm showing you in my videos now you can practice all of them at home and get really good and then once once you can go back on tennis court then imagine how good you how much better you're gonna be then yeah so keep practicing happy Easter color your eggs and I'll see you in the next video ciao